Hey, I'm Ashley Happy from Lane Cove Dressage. Lane Cove Dressage is to help every horse and rider with their dressage journey. It's my goal to help inspire and educate you. Welcome to my channel. Hey everyone, my name is Ashley Happy and I am a dressage trainer and instructor in Mooresville, North Carolina. Today we are going to talk about the halts in dressage and I am going to show you a video of many bad halts and a few good ones too. Now once I get my horse warmed up here from this three loop serpentine, I'm just going to keep showing you video clips of halts today so that you can train your eye and look to see what is in a good or a bad halt. So in a good halt, we want the horse to be square, we want the horse to be round and on the bits. You don't want to see any tension, you don't want to see the horse fidget, you don't want to see the horse back up, and of course you want the horse to be square. Now, you also want to come straight down that center line in order to create a good halt. So you don't want to under or overshoot your center line when you are preparing for your halt. Now my biggest pet peeve is when I have students who sign up for a horse show, but they haven't practiced the halt at all. And this is something you should be practicing from the beginning. Here comes my six-year-old Dutch warm blood. And you can see she raised her head, came above the bit, and she wiggled a little bit. But she actually came out of that hole pretty expressively and bounced out into her trough. Here comes my half Andalusian quarter horse pony, Alegria. You can see that I'm sitting the trot into the halt, which I find is easier to create a good halt. Not bad. I would like to see her spring out at the trot a little bit more. Now you can see the difference between experienced horses and a young student schooling for intro level. You can see the horse was not round, so it affected the halt. Now we're back to a trained horse. And she was square and it was good and then we had tension and we wiggled. So we try it out and we try it again. The thing about schooling halts is you just have to keep doing them. And the biggest piece of advice I have is to not use your hands, to turn your knees in, to breathe out, and to use your seat. Because if you pull with your hands to create your halt, I guarantee you, you will have a very bad halt. You can see the right hind is out a little bit on this one for the pony. It was almost, she just left that hind leg out a little bit and then we wiggled. That's the really tricky thing about halts is getting the horses to be submissive and wait until you ask them to go again. Here comes Nina, my six year old Dutch warm blood. Not quite square, and then she fidgeted in the bridle. Here comes the pony again. I am coming in at a posting trot. And there she trots out of it, but we hesitated too long and she walked too long. Here it is again, the 
different try. Here I am in sitting trot. Like I said, it's much easier to get a good halt off your seat. This way she trotted out because then you can ask your horse to halt off your seat instead of pulling with your hands. Here I'm coming from the other direction, from the left instead of the right, in a rising trot. It was very abrupt and hurried. Not a good halt. Oh, we left our left hind out. Can you see what a difference me being in posting trot versus sitting trot makes the difference of whether this horse comes in nicely to her halts or not? That's really the difference of whether I'm asking her with my seat or if I'm asking her with my hands. Here I come again with a rising trot which means I have to slow her down with my legs and prepare further ahead of time. And again, it was almost too abrupt because we came in with posting trot and I couldn't say, hey, we're gonna stop soon. It was more like, hey, we're stopping now. Now I'm coming in at sitting trot. I'll be curious to see if this one is a much smoother transition. I thought she had more time, she looked more relaxed coming into it. And here's another one. This time I'm sitting as well. I wish I could tuck those elbows in. I'm just going to drop my pelvis and my seat bones towards her hind legs say, hey, we're stopping. Her left hind's a little far out, but the front end is straight. And then she pops out into the trot, which is nice. And again, I told you, this is 20 bad halts. And one good one. That one, she wiggled and she swung her butt and now we're wiggling and we didn't really have it together. There's a lot of room for improvement on that one. The one good thing about Allegria, if you're thinking about schooling halts at home, other than the wiggle on that last one, you notice she stays round and she doesn't throw up her head. Versus Nina and the other horse would become inverted on their halts because they're still green at it. So to finish up today, we're going to look at one good halt again. This is the one where Allegria came in, we were at sitting trots. I asked her gently with my seat, breathed out, and there we are, square halt. Then we trot out of it, okay? And that is a good halt. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Please subscribe.